Well, it's that time again. The cicadas are back after their long 17 year hiatus. And once again, they are right here in Ohio, but somehow this time around Northeast Ohio has managed to avoid mm -hmm. those nasty little shells and that crazy sound that we get from them. Yes, the brood X is mostly in mm -hmm. Southwest Ohio. So we sent our own Mike Polk down to Columbus where they are everywhere right now. And just, you know, we sent Mike to see how loud and creepy and gross they really are. Do you hear that? That's the sound of terror. Terror in the form of lots of bugs. I'm down here in Columbus where our state capital is overrun by a plague of cicada right now. I came all the way down here to find out what that's all about and to see what Cleveland can do to help. The Brood 10 cicadas have very much emerged and are currently plaguing certain cursed sections of our state and also social media where they're being hunted and eaten by their primary predator, TikTok video creators. It's like a chocolate covered raisin. But what dangers do they pose to Columbus residents? And more importantly, how do we keep them the hell out of Cleveland? For those answers, I turn to Metro Park bigwig, Tim Maloney. We're concerned up in Cleveland. You guys are overrun with this plague. I don't know what you did wrong as a city. Well, it's not a plague at all. We were looking forward to this for about 17 years. Really, you look forward. This is entertainment to people in Cleveland. Oh, absolutely. Okay. I mean, listen to this. You hear nature's chorus going on and on and on. Cicadas, what do we need to know? Should people be horrified of them in the way that some people are? No, absolutely the exact opposite. The only thing they ever love biting is the leaves of trees. I think one of the reasons everybody is so freaked out is because these things look like space aliens. Oh, and they're big. I mean, for an they insect, are. they're quite large. According to Mr. Maloney, every 17 years, these brood X creeps emerge all at once, shed their exoskeletons like weirdos, grow wings, then immediately start singing. It is them trying to attract mates. They're trying to attract mates. Yes. That's right. That noise you're hearing is the mating call of a billion randy cicadas looking for love. To them, this sounds like Usher. Shockingly, when I asked these Columbus nature enthusiasts how they were dealing with the invasion, they seemed less than adequately horrified. Uh, uh, you're not scared at all of these bugs? They're oh, scary, right? No, no, no. Right. They're wonderful. Yeah. They're great for the environment. It seems as though the icky trauma currently being experienced by these chipper residents has simply not yet sunk in. People are scared of these things because they look like little devil bugs. They do look pretty scary, but some people are also eating them, yeah. which is weird. I saw that on TikTok, a dude pouring cheese and yeah. munching on them. Perhaps they're in denial, unwilling to acknowledge the horror of the moment for fear of making it real. It was actually amazing. The colors are unbelievable. But having now personally experienced this traumatic grossness firsthand, we don't need this mess up in Cleveland. Keep this stuff down here. All right, cicadas? I can assure you that the cicada mess in Columbus is very real and quite nasty. And I didn't even have to eat one to realize that. This is Mike Polk getting skeezed out for 3 News.